A WWE star has been released. More might be expected, plus so much more. We're going to talk about it right here on The Angle Show. Don't forget, we're giving away this championship belt at 100,000 subscribers. Welcome back to TAS. You guys can follow me on X at AngoPW. Guys, I want to kick things off with some quick news about CM Punk. A lot of people have been wondering, why has CM Punk not been able to talk about AEW in WWE? Uh, Dave Meltzer has reported that Punk cannot legally talk about AEW or those in the promotion. Meltzer wrote that for those who are wondering or disappointed that Punk has said nothing about AEW, it's because both he and others have signed several NDAs regarding talking publicly about the other. And I find this to be a very fascinating story for multiple reasons. Um, obviously, you know... Typically, when an NDA is introduced in a situation, typically you can't talk about specifics. Um, I'm curious if that's, you know, part of CM Punk not talking about AEW. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, AEW making a reference to CM Punk, but then other AEW talent have publicly spoken about CM Punk. You know, it just it's a very confusing gray area as to what can be said, if anything. Now, in the case of CM Punk and the AEW stuff, I, for one, would rather not see CM Punk shoot on AEW in WWE. I, for one, truly believe that CM Punk should move on and AEW should move on. It was a very ugly time for AEW, and the fact that people are still talking about it, myself included, it actually sucks. But the reality is, this has become such a big story that it's it's going to keep being talked about right there's going to be this con uh this continuous intrigue about the drama surrounding the story and you know for cm punk i think he is great in wwe and he's probably happier being in wwe and and honestly if i'm wwe i want to lean in to the cm punk being a hypocrite corporate man cm punk like that's how i'm looking at it because one, I think it makes for a great heel character. I think there could be a lot of great promos and a lot of great stories involved with CM Punk basically selling his soul to the WWE, right? In terms of storytelling, there's a lot of potential there. But also the idea of CM Punk talking about the drama in AEW, like that shouldn't matter on WWE programming because WWE is the number one wrestling company in the world. That's not something I would expect from this company. So look, if Dave is right and there's NDAs and that's the reason... I'm sure there's a gray area in what could be said because typically with NDAs, you can't talk about specifics. The idea of him not being able to name drop or something like that, I can't imagine that being part of an NDA, but you never know. And at this point, I don't think it really matters. It's time to move on for CM Punk and hopefully things get better. Uh, some bad news for WWE, potentially, maybe. Uh, WWE Raw TV deal, we've been talking about this for several, several months. Obviously, there's been a lot of intrigue about Warner Bros. Discovery potentially bringing in WWE. Um, in the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer had reported that WWE hopes to get $400 million annually. However, analysts believe it'll be closer to $387 million annually. Uh, Meltzer wrote, for most of the negotiation period, the idea was FX as the leader, with Netflix, USA, Warner Bros. Discovery, and Amazon Prime all being talked about. Which on this channel, for a year or two now, we have talked about all of these possibly being candidates. The one that was most surprising was Warner Bros. Discovery, because we didn't necessarily expect that until about a month or two ago. Uh, Meltzer wrote, for most of the negotiation uh, period, the idea was FX as the leader, which... I believe FX bringing in Raw is interesting because FX is obviously owned by Disney. Uh, for Warner Bros. Discovery, which currently owns AEW, securing Raw's rights would be a game changer because then that would obviously force AEW to get a new TV deal. Meltzer goes on to say that the Warner Bros. Discovery version told to many this past week is that Nick Khan went to Warner Bros. Discovery in October with a pitch and was turned down. Those in WBD have said privately that there's nothing to the idea of TBS or TNT being the destination for Raw to a number of people in recent days, while those in WWE constantly had WBD as a long shot. The reason for that is due to the belief that WBD has an ownership stake in AEW. So that is very interesting because AEW is not a publicly traded company. So if Warner Bros. Discovery has an ownership stake in AEW and they're hiding that from the, the public, I find that to be 
very, very interesting. Now, for one, I do believe that Warner Bros. Discovery and WWE can always come to a deal. It's not out of the realm of possibility. But I think we really should be taking a look at FX, Netflix, and Amazon. Because for WWE, and we talked about this before, NXT is going to the CW, which is on free television. If you have a, a, a little antenna, you can get access to the CW. In addition to that, SmackDown is moving to cable USA Network. Why not have WWE try and go the streaming route? I get it. For a lot of people, it's, you know, they're going to say, well, look, WWE is missing out on potential exposure. That is very true. I've talked about this on Twitter. I've talked about it on YouTube. Ideally, for me, at this point, I've cut the cord, right? Like many people, I've cut the cord. Cable companies have essentially died. I would have zero issue with WWE going the streaming route. With that being said, I would much rather see WWE go on USA Network across all three brands. If I had it my way, that's what I would do. The uh, The fact that WWE is going through different providers and different outlets tells me Amazon and Netflix could very much be in the running. Now, with that being said, if WWE is on Netflix or if WWE is on Amazon, I can also imagine a lot of things can change to the product from a physical nature of it all, being the fact that WWE realistically could get away with swearing and blood and doing whatever the hell they want. Would WWE do that? No, because they're still a publicly traded company and they still have SmackDown and NXT on other TV outlets. But if they want to make Raw a more mature program, they can absolutely do that. But as of right now, it doesn't look like WBD is interested. But that was as of October. Maybe CM Punk being in WWE can make a lot of sense. But holy shit, if Warner Bros. Discovery has ownership stake in AEW, that's a bombshell. Guys, Mackenzie Mitchell from WWE NXT has revealed that she's been released by the company. Uh, this is actually really unfortunate because Mackenzie Mitchell is an absolutely hell of a talent. Uh, Mackenzie Mitchell revealed on Twitter today that she was released from the company. Brandon Thurston from WrestleNomics has also confirmed that the company has released more corporate employees. Now, as far as a reason for Mackenzie Mitchell being released, there actually hasn't been one that's been stated. Um, unfortunately, like I don't know if this is going to be a situation where WWE is cutting more talent, uh, more budget cuts. For all we know, there could have been some sort of drama or something backstage that we're unaware of. Maybe something happened. Again, if we're unaware of it, we're unaware of it. But it just seems very odd that Mackenzie Mitchell was released. Mackenzie Mitchell, very, very good interviewer. I watched her back in Impact Wrestling. She comes to WWE NXT and absolutely kills it. So it is quite shocking. But ultimately, this is WWE. This is the wrestling business. And if there's more releases, I'll keep you guys updated. Don't forget, we're giving away this championship belt once we hit 100,000 subscribers. So go ahead and click subscribe today.